Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I'm a huge fan of drag queens, as you all know, and I watched Trixie Mattel clean out their makeup collection, and I was so impressed by the sheer mass of products they got rid of. It inspired me and it made me think that this is long overdue. Literally no one should have this amount of makeup, let alone somebody who does the exact same makeup every single day. Like this is my everyday makeup. I hardly ever even go in here. It's been years of accumulating this makeup. Some of it is literally over 10 years old for sure. There is a formula for when you should throw out products like foundation is X amount eye products is this amount because they carry bacteria. And honestly, I'm not scared of makeup bacteria. <laughs> so it hasn't really triggered me to throw things out, but I feel like, my mask. I feel like I should go through it and clean it out because this is stressful. I'm embarrassed. And at a point in time, my channel definitely surrounded more around makeup. This is just me trying to validate the reason I have this, but honestly, it's too much. I'm going to cut it down and only keep the items I wanna keep. Like if Trixie can cut it down, to the size that they did, surely I can do it too because I wear the same products every day. We are going to do a ruthless makeup clear out. And I am nervous and I am sweating. I wanna do a good job, but I also know that I am a hoarder by nature. Let's do this. Some drawers are far worse than others. Like my lip drawer, I don't even wanna look at it. Okay, let's start out with the top drawer. This is my eyeliner, mascara, and eyebrow drawer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And my dilemma immediately, I'm like, what if I need this? What if I do a neon green gel liner look? I mean, I've never done it in my 23 years of living on this earth, but what if I do it tomorrow? Those are the types of things that go through my head and now my eyes are watering. Like I have brand new products here, what is this? A brow pencil? That's very useful. <sighs> this is that eyebrow stamp, I'm not gonna keep that. What is this? That is garbage. Wow, what is wrong with me, honestly? Why am I keeping all of these dried up mascaras? Look at this. What is the reason for keeping this? I'll tell you, cause I'm a hoarder. To a lot of people, this would mean you have to throw it out. But to me, it just means it needs a good shake. It's not separating back. For someone who doesn't wear blue eyeliner, I definitely don't need five. Oh, here's another blue eyeliner. Okay. They ask you how you're going to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. You just can't get it. Like, I'm getting rid of a little bit of stuff, as you can see. Actually, I use this. Do I need these? I remember buying these. They're so good. They're the Glam Vice Retro Liner. I got them in, like, every color. They're really fun. They're really fun, you guys. Really fun. Okay, come on Mia, be strong. Be strong. Okay, out of these, I'll pick my few favorites. Look at all of these blues, yet I cannot pass up any of them. I mean, this is so unique. I need that. Okay, these I don't need. I don't feel like I'll be the purple eyeliner wearer, so I'm just gonna feel comfortable with that. The white, I need the both whites, okay? Do I need those? No. Yes, I do. I mean, that's not amazing, people. I didn't do an amazing job. Let me go through it one more time. Like, I won't miss these things. I have not used them in so long, I won't miss them. Stop pretending like you're gonna miss them. I don't need you. No, I don't. I don't need you. Okay, there. That's the eyeliner drawer. Let's look at a little before and after. It's too much still, but it'll do for now. Next, we have the lip drawer. Now this is a problem. Yes, to the highest degree, this is a problem. Lip products are probably my favorite things to buy. I don't know why, I just like it. But I also think I'll be able to part with things easier in this drawer. This is absolutely absurd to have this many. Like, why would I need these? Piece of me wants to open these and like smell them all before I get rid of them, but then I can't donate them, but I can donate them like this, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. The lip pencils. Nice. I'm gonna keep one red, because what if I wear red lipstick? One deep purple, because what if I wear deep purple? The issue too is these are all probably old. If I had to guess, they probably are expired once you actually think about it. But um, I'm not thinking about that. Why am I literally holding onto the house laboratory pens just because I like Lady Gaga? Like Lady Gaga doesn't know me. She's not gonna care if I get rid of these. 
As insane as it might seem, I'm going to keep six and get rid of the rest. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep that one too. <sighs> Honestly, that feels better. These Miss Fame lipsticks are literally, oh, they still smell so good, but they are expired. Oh, but the packaging is so nice. Look at the magnetic lid. I'm being a little bit dramatic. Just a smidge. Truly and honestly, I love Miss Fame and that's why I bought these, but I was never like over the moon with the coloring. So it doesn't hurt that bad to get rid of these. It mainly does because I, the hoarder in me wants to repurpose the packaging. Ew. If you watched my short on my main channel about these sauce lip glosses, these are cursed. Oh my gosh, see, these are so old. These are over 10 years old because I remember in one of my like first videos on my channel, like my main channel, I used these. I remember just geeking with excitement about this collection that Maybelline did. See, I gotta keep like a deep red because what if I wanna wear a red lipstick that's empty? Oh, this is like my favorite lip product of all time though. This is the e.l.f. lip pencil in natural. This is great. This Fenty gloss, I wanted to love it, but it's a little sticky. Ooh, this is so pretty. Oh, see, this is the kimchi gloss. I lost this amongst everything. See, I've lost almost all of this stuff. Ah, okay. How much did we keep? Let's see. I basically only kept lip glosses that I know for a fact are not sticky. Ooh, I still kept quite a bit of stuff. Kind of problematic with me. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, compared to what it was before, like that's good. This is good. This is reasonable. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move on into foundation. Also, this is where we're at to go. Here is the foundation. I feel stressed about this. This is a heavy drawer. Okay. See, and this shouldn't be so difficult because I literally wear the same foundation every day. So like, why am I stressed out? And like, I always keep empties. Don't know. I'm just gonna start off by saying I'm keeping this because that is my God-given right. Hey, a puff. I was looking for one of these. These Giorgio Armani foundations. I think because it's so expensive, I like to keep them when they're empty. <laughs> Because that is what hoarders do. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's a real problem. So I have eight of these empty, I'm pretty sure. Empty, empty. This is a new concealer. Why? This drawer was long overdue. That was my favorite foundation, the Milani 2-in-1. I used to use that every day in high school. Okay, there's the foundation drawer. That's serious business. It's okay, Mia. It's okay. Right next drawer. Oh, you thought we were done with the foundations. Ha 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 ha. I wish. This is more like setting powders and empty containers. I use that. I just bought that. <laughs> Why am I keeping that? I'm gonna keep this foundation. I just got it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. So I guess that would go up here. I'm keeping it because I haven't decided yet if it breaks me out. And until I decide, I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, again, she likes to keep empties because it makes her feel safe. Don't even ask. So I have two air spud powders. Interesting, I think this was when I was really into doing drag makeup, which I kind of still am into doing it. Mario Bradescu. Does she use it? No, she does not. Blush, I like that. No, 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 There we go. I actually may be able to combine drawers once we're done this. Next drawer. This I think is the last of the face products. Let's hope. We're getting to the end. This is like the highlight blush drawer. I'm actually exhausted. Cause this is kind of the same thing of like too many things I can't see the things I actually want. Do I ever see myself using this? No. Natasha Denona. Why don't I use this? I'm just not keen on like the big palettes I feel like, but why not? I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh my goodness, I remember when I bought that. No, no, no. Ooh, hi Trixie! <laughs> 
keep. It would just be in bad taste to get rid of that. Where does some of this come from? Like, when do I buy this? These are the same product. I'm sorry. Oh, I just broke it. Millie. What is this? Oh, that's pretty. See, I didn't know that existed. I love having blushes, okay? Take me to jail. There we go. I will admit I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to blushes. And that's okay. We're gonna go down again. Oh, this is brushes. Do I really need to go through these? I think I will keep them. I just like having brushes. I will keep them. I'm gonna allow myself to keep those because I am an enabler. Now we're over into the palettes, which palettes are hard to get rid of because they're so beautiful. But again, I just don't, I don't use them. I didn't even open this one. Like, I feel like you should let yourself have a few palettes, you know? That one could pretty much cover all my colors. That one could too. Which one of these is better? I feel like I like the Morphe one a little more. I like the packaging of that one though. I think that's why I bought that in the first place. Sugar pill, I'm keeping those. This, I want to do a video on this. <laughs> that's just my excuse. I want to do a video. Wait, wait, but I want to do a video. Oh my goodness, kimchi. See, the thing with this one is I feel like it's probably really good because it's a drag queen. Look at this, the Alyssa Edwards palette. Completely brand new. Baby Yoda. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these MAC single shadows. Okay, oh gosh. Oh gosh, no. Please, no. No, God, please, no. Like Mia, don't forget that you'd never wear different eyeshadow. Don't forget that. See, this is what happens though. I was looking for that. Glitter is like literally the key to my heart. It can all happily fit into this one group. I'll keep it. Okay, you know what? Sure, that's fine, Mia. You did okay. You didn't do fabulous. You didn't do fabulous, Mia. I feel refreshed, I guess. I honestly don't feel amazing right now. I kind of felt better when I was keeping all the makeup. <laughs> That's just me being honest. But I don't feel like I'll miss these pieces. I need to try and find somewhere that takes like empty makeup palettes and repurposes them because I know that exists. I'm gonna let my mom and my friends go through this because I don't think they'll mind if we share eye bacteria and I will donate the things that are absolutely brand new. But uh, yeah, this is everything. And this is my personal promise to myself to only buy makeup when I really, 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 really want it and it has a use not just consuming to consume. I hope maybe it inspired you to go through your makeup collection. Please don't judge my makeup collection. I've been collecting for over 10 years now. And this is my second channel. This is where we go to not judge anyone. This is a safe space. I recognize it was bad to collect this much makeup and I will not do it again, I promise. <laughs> Being scolded. And yeah, I think that's it.